is ready, set, start up. To help the teams with their strategizing, this week they're having a coaching session with motivational speaker and author Alison Edgar, who is awarded an MBE for her services to entrepreneurship. So I'm Alison Edgar, also known as the Entrepreneur's Godmother. I love that name! <laughs> In this session today, we're going to have a little look at your unique selling points and your competitors. And it would be great if there was no competitors and everybody just bought from us. But we do have to do that because I think it's part of your key research as to how you get to market and how you make money through your business is knowing what other people are actually doing and what you do differently. Malcolm, Hi. so what about your um, competitors and your unique selling point? So I guess my competitors are every other tabletop game out there. My unique selling point is the way that the augmented reality, the future proof and technology is incorporated in with the game in such a basic level, but future proofed will mean that the game never gets boring. It constantly adapts and changes, but not through the user, but through the actual company itself, iTech Games. How have you done your research into what the marketplace wants? The main actual physical research that we've done is just through friends and family and people we know. How accurate do you think that reflects in the marketplace? It's absolutely not accurate at all. It's massively biased and, you know, I'm sure we can all agree that friends and family will just tell you what you want to hear and it's great. What would you see that your competition is? So I have a CBD topical body butter brand that I make, Madame Laveau's CBD creams. Actually, there are a lot of CBD products out there. There are a lot of um, moisturizing products out there. And I kind of saw early on that I would have to differentiate myself and how I'm doing that is through my branding. Very kind of like magical and mystical and kind of feminine, um, but fun based on New Orleans voodoo and lots of other very visual images. And yeah, make it just a very unique experience that no one else can copy. I love that. Oh. So really the uniqueness is in the, the Madame Laveau and the brand and the way she speaks. It sounds like there's some great stories that I can't <laughs> wait to hear. So well done. I think that's great. Thank I you love so the, much. I love the brand. It's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. Now, <laughs> tell me a little bit more about the competitors yeah. in the digital world. I think what separates me from the rest, you know, I want to be eco-friendly. So the materials I'm looking at are completely eco-friendly, um, plant-based, but also they do other things as well. So I've got, you know, fabrics that can regulate your body temperature, fabrics that are insect repellent. When looking at making a profitable margin for myself, it's like I have to charge a certain rate. But then I look at it and I think, well, it's, you know, what the material does, what the fabric does is amazing. You know, the designs are going to be amazing. So I think actually people will pay to get that kind of product. So I've got a question about that. You think people will pay? Yes. And I think that's the key word, <laughs> okay. isn't it? Literally, I think yeah. the thread has been there with all of you. It's mm -hmm. really not what about you think. Okay. It's about what the research actually proves. Proof. It's about what people will actually they pay buy. for. Yeah. As these coaching sessions are going on, I feel like we're getting more and more into our own businesses. The people who are coming in to coach us actually know a bit more about ourselves, which is really good. It's all my sure. godmother advice. Yeah. Yeah. Armed with some insightful knowledge from Alison, the entrepreneurs get back to work as now they must figure out a USP for Bird and Blend's new tea concentrate. 